Hello, my name is Gideon Samid, and this is a short talk directed at Bitcoin enthusiasts. Bitcoin has done a fantastic service eventually to world economy. The concept of digital currency, which since the late 90s, when the pioneer David Chom struggled with DigiCash, was unheard of, was a concept that was discussed in some unread academic papers. But you, the Bitcoin people, the faithful, the enthusiast, you put it on the map. Now, the idea of upgrading money into a string of bits that is independent of the media that it's written on is something that economists, politicians, bankers, and ordinary people are considering. The credit is all yours. It was not a simple fit, and many tried. There were quite a few attempts at digital money uh, since Charm, but only you succeeded. And this should be recognized. However, if we are allowing self an historic perspective, what comes to my mind, and that's my personal opinion, is that Bitcoin will be remembered in history in a way that is analogous to the way we remember alchemy today. Alchemy was the foundation for the science of chemistry. But there is no faculty for alchemy in any university today, is there? It was the foundation for chemistry. And it uh, had its enthusiasts and its believers. Serious people. Newton was an, an alchemist. Why is alchemy, alchemy dead? Why did it die? Why did it uh, morph into chemistry? What is the difference between chemistry and alchemy? One difference. Alchemy was overly ambitious in its goals. The alchemist tried to change lead into gold. They failed. Chemistry, on the other hand, simply manipulated the existing natural chemicals and materials and developed the tools, the products that we all enjoy until today. Why is this an analogy? Because what you are trying to do is overly ambitious. You don't think it's enough to upgrade money to a digital form and then use cryptography in order to manipulate money as a string of bits? Is it not a, an outstanding challenge? You need to top it with the idea that you will uh, declare war on all central banks and you will try to uh, shake 
uh, the uh, the power of uh, deciding on their own uh, currency from all the countries of the world. You are excellent cryptographers. The uh, the brilliance, the cryptographic brilliance in Bitcoin speaks for itself. But are you also the best world financial experts? Do you have a, a full realization of how complicated money is? How unstable it is? Money by its very nature is such a beast that if people think that money will lose its value and behave accordingly, then money does lose its value. If people think that money will uh, appreciate and behave accordingly, then money does appreciate. And the role of central banks is to keep it stable against this instability. Do you think that relinquishing it from uh, a human being to an algorithm is a good idea? Even if it is possibly a good idea, you've never tried it. And to lure ordinary people into pulling the money out of the bank and buying bitcoins is a very tall order. So I'm here to call you to reevaluate your goal. What we are doing, the Bitmin camp, we digitize the fiat currencies. In fact, I talk to central banks and propose that they will embrace the re-expression of their own currency in a digital form. So much is there to do just by changing the form. There will be plenty of room for all your cryptographic and technological ambitions. The, the uh, handling of money, the storing of money, the idea of electronic traveler checks, the idea of something that I call tethered money, money that is cryptographically fused to its intended purpose. So that if the World Bank is uh, sending billions of dollars to uh, under underdeveloped countries in order to develop them, then the money cannot be uh, siphoned away to Swiss bank accounts, but has to be used by contractors that build the roads for which the money was dedicated, was paid for. And this is cryptographically possible. Instead of having lawyers chasing after people who abuse money uh, beyond the contract for which they got it, you have technology that keeps them uh, uh, on the straight and narrow. A dramatic impact awaits to the economy where money is digital, where payment is by sending a string of bits. Just think about the security difference. Instead of exposing two accounts like today, payer and payee, you send a string of bits and the payee just has to validate that this string is good money. Doesn't have to find out who you are, not your mother's maiden name, and not your account number. So, I would like you to uh, think for a moment. Maybe you could use your talent, your creativity, on something that is more practical and more effective. Maybe you could reevaluate your goal with Bitcoin and consider the Bitmin camp.
That's what I'm asking. I've written a book called Tethered Money that explains some of my thoughts of what can be done with money, which is a string of bits that carries value and identity intrinsically, and it's fused cryptographically with an intended purpose. So much can be done in so many areas. Such a socio-economic impact. Let's do it. Let's get together. Write to me. Call me. Just think about it. Thank you for listening. Bye for now.